Last night, Steph McGovern, 40, took a swipe at Piers Morgan's show ratings on Have I Got News For You. Her comments came after former Cabinet Secretary Nadine Dory stepped into Piers' shoes to front the program in his absence. Panelist Ian Merton said of her efforts, she took over Piers Morgan's TV show. He's been on holiday and it didn't go well. Nadine Dorries has been sitting in on Piers Morgan's smash hit talk TV show, Steph went on to sarcastically explain. As laughter was heard from the audience, the Steph's packed lunch host added, Piers Morgan, unwatched. Ian retorted, oh really, I think that's very unfair. Before he continued to laugh. Mike Tindall's Emma Celeb move met with disapproval by King Charles Let's see how she did, Steph went on to say as a VT of Nadine was shown. Tonight, Beers hit back at the presenter in view of his 8 million followers. The journalist shared an article which claimed her show was tipped for the X as show registers zero viewers. Alongside the picture, he wrote, here you were gobbing off about my at Piers uncensored ratings on hashtag Higfee last night. At Steph Lunch, you sure you're the best person to do that? The presenter tagged Steph in the tweet, however she is yet to respond. The article, shared by Piers, was published back in September 2026 months after its original launch date. Odds suggested Channel 4 bosses could bring the show to an early end, however Steph defiantly denied this on Twitter. Carol Kirkwood reacts after being snubbed by BBC co-star, revealed Sofia Vergara looked incredible in red carpet outfit in 2002 pictures, throwbacks Stacey Solomon warned by fans over DIY transformation full of fleas reaction. The former BBC Breakfast star responded to a social media user who queried her about the reports. They wrote, Is your show closing? Steph simply replied, Nope, in view of her 430,000 followers. When approached for comment at the time, a spokesperson told Express. UK. On Tuesday Steph's packed lunch attracted 204,000 viewers at its peak. Daytime shows always take time to build their audience, Steph has brought a blast of energy to our daytime lineup and we're delighted with the live shows the team has produced. It was a tough call to go up against such an established and well-loved show as Loose Women and there's no doubt the decision is hurting C4 and these ratings show it, a source told Mirror Online. ITV were always confident the Loose Women would see off their competition, and in fact their numbers keep going up. The show has since been recommissioned for the rest of 2022 and through to 2023 following a rise in figures.